How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Grant and I've just made over 10 short films. My latest one is a short horror film. Click the link in the description below to check it out and let me know what you think. I'm very open to constructive criticism. Moving on. So what is the rule of thirds? Personally, I wouldn't call it a rule. I'll call it more of a guideline. Now we can't really talk about the rule of thirds unless we talk about composition. All the compositional techniques that you can use to enhance your film. Composition is how all the elements, objects are arranged or placed within the frame. By elements, I mean actors, props, locations, tables, chairs, etc. As a filmmaker, you need to understand and know these compositional techniques and where to place elements in your frame to create visually pleasing, interesting and powerful images. And of course, to know them, to master them well enough so you can break them in the future. And one of those rules, techniques or guidelines is the rule of thirds. Now I've used this rule religiously on all of my most recent films. It is the most or one of the most fundamental compositional techniques and it's so easy to learn. Use this technique or this guideline to make more dynamic and compelling images. The rule of thirds is dividing the frame into three parts horizontally and vertically. These lines create intersections or control points. Put your main actors, objects or subjects along these lines or at a point where these lines cross to create a more naturally pleasing image to the eye. The rule of thirds is a way to use negative space and to creatively show importance of subjects in the background or foreground. Most cameras, viewfinders, monitors have this function built in. Let's enable the grid function. But here are a couple of examples. When shooting a close-up or one shot of a character, we are almost always drawn to the eyes. So make sure to keep the eyes on one of the horizontal lines, even if the subject is not on any of the crossing points. Having the eye line off center will still create a naturally pleasing or unpleasing if you want it to image. You can lead your audience by having an actor on screen looking at or interacting with an element off screen. Just as long as you frame the actor correctly and leave enough space to where the actor looking, our minds can automatically figure out the actor is interacting with someone, something or an element off frame. You can attract the viewer's attention and create a more dynamic frame by placing key elements, characters or objects at the point where the lines intersect. If you're shooting a moving object or actor, make sure to line them up correctly so that they have more space to move into. So if your actor is moving to the right, generally place them in the area of the grid to the left so that they have more space to move into. This will make it feel more natural to the audience. But again, if you want to make the audience feel uncomfortable, then you can just shoot it the other way. You can give less space to where the actor is moving to by literally just moving the actor or the camera and lining up the actor to all the grids on the right. If you're shooting a wide shot of two characters, then line them both up at the crossing points or in that general area. If you're shooting an establishing shot, then line up the horizon on one of the horizontal lines. In filmmaking, to create a dynamic, interesting frame to keep the viewer interested, there's a lot of movement either by the characters, actors or the camera. Use the rule of thirds in these circumstances as a general guideline or keep your most important subjects, elements or objects in and around where the lines intersect to visually enhance the image. At the end of the day, the main goal of composition is to control the audience's attention and focus. And there are many, many techniques that you can use to do this. And the rule of thirds is just one of them. And with like all rules, they can be broken. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing on this channel. My name is Jermaine Grant and I'll see you again soon.